Welcome to the Daily Devos. I'm Dana Daigle, and I'm excited to be with you again. We're doing Mark 9 today. Now, Mark is so full of stuff if you've been following along. Uh, Mark 9 is amazing, and I'd have to talk for three hours if I wanted to share everything in Mark, the things that Jesus did. And so I just will share what I feel like God wants me to share. And I do want to point out this, though. Um, in Mark 9, so much that happens. The transfiguration of Jesus is is uh, recorded there. Jesus shares about his death coming up two different times. Um, he heals a young man with an impure spirit. The disciples can't um, cast out the, the devil, the demon that was in the boy. And Jesus shared why. Miracles from um, others where the disciples were complaining about other people were were doing things in Jesus name and they weren't part of their group. So they were asking Jesus what to do and um, just on and on. It, the, he talks about how if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off, cut your eye, pluck out your eye instead of going to hell. Now, remember, this is for, before Jesus died and resurrected, before he um, he did all that he was going to do. Um, so it's really interesting. And what stood out and has always stood out for me in this passage way back is it's actually a 921, pretty much. Um, whenever Jesus is speaking to the father of the boy that has the epilepsy, epile epilepsy, can't say it too good. Um, and um, it really starts way back in 14. And um, the apostles, the disciples couldn't cast out this, this demon. And so Jesus was a little bit upset because he called them unbelieving generation. And he calls the boy over to him and the boy, the, the minute that the boy was in Jesus' presence, the evil spirit caused them to have a fit and foam at the mouth and fall down and was rolling around and had a convulsion, it says. So Jesus, you know, he's not very worried about all this portrayal or performance by the demon. He asked the father, how long has your son been like this? And the father says, since childhood, and it's often thrown him into the fire or water to try to kill him. And this is what he asked Jesus. But if you can do anything, take pity and help us. And Jesus says, if I can, everything is possible for one who believes. Now, this is not the only time Jesus shares that, uh, how if we believe anything's possible. And the father says, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. So Jesus was so touched by the father, he healed him right there. And it just made me think, our unbelief, we all have a measure of faith given to us by our father, by the God. But we also have a measure of unbelief that we need to be aware of. And that's why it's important to read your word, spend time with Holy Spirit, talking to your father, um, truly getting a relationship because faith isn't something you just read off a page, write down these things and read them off. No, you have to know whom you trust. Trust is what builds that belief. So when you pray about things, if it doesn't happen, you have enough trust in your God who loves you that you can persevere, that you can trust him through it. And that's what faith is about. And that's what prayer is about, prayer spending time with him. So I wanted to touch on that, that prayer is where you truly grow. And prayer is not saying anything fancy. Prayer is just talking to your daddy like you're his kid. We say that all the time in our prayer uh, meetings. Talk to God like you talk to your best friend because he wants to be our best friend. And he's right here. He's living in us. So speak to him all the time. That's pray without ceasing. That's make your life a prayer. And so I, I encourage you to spend more time with prayer. 
If you have trouble with prayer, get with somebody who prays and just have them maybe help you with it. It's, it is practicing the presence of God that you grow in. But let's pray. Father, you're so good. One more time, we just are in awe of you and we love you. I pray right now, Holy Spirit of God, that lives in all your children, all the believers, that you bubble up inside everybody. Let the scriptures that we've read and learned come to our, our minds so that we can truly believe more. Help our unbelief, Father. Help us to know you better, to go deeper with you, to truly understand that with belief with our faith in you because you are our father we're your children that all things are possible reveal these great truths to us today let your word come alive we say have your way holy spirit in our hearts and our minds we give you our perceptions of life right now show us god what it means to walk in faith and we ask this all because of jesus in his precious and mighty name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, I hope that helps. And I appreciate you. You have a great day and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.